Hi, I'm uh, Jim Unsworth here again, uh, one of the tutors at the OCA and uh, I'm also an assessor. I just have picked out some sort of examples of, of sketchbooks. A good, a good thing that certainly these sketchbooks have is that the nature of, that, of the sort of un, unpretentious inquiry, where the, the, the student does not try to make pictures, but just inquire and find out and investigate a subject. If you approach your research as though you want to make a big piece of art, and it's not going to happen. You have to get inside the subject, look at it from every angle, make your visual drawings of it, maybe make a few notes as well. Fundamentally, it is about inquiring, both in terms of the nature of your subject matter and maybe how to approach it in, in, uh, in using your material, whether that's you know, drawing or painting or, or sculpture. If you do work in, in, in sketchbooks, they will actually demonstrate where your real interest lies in, in visual terms and what you're actually sort of set up to look at. You know, that could be, you know, it could be a certain colour range, it could be a certain set of forms, it could be the figure, animals, whatever that is, but you will be sort of drawn to that inevitably if you, if you actually research and explore the world in visual terms. I mean, the good, the good thing about these set of books is the actual thoroughness of how the student has actually approached his subject. You know, there are lots of, uh, of more than one notation on each page, you know, quick visual notations informing, you know, possible way forwards or informing about a certain feel or spirit of what you're looking at. And this all feeds visually into, into your practice. Because also, that uh, just brings me on naturally actually to what you're thinking about. I mean, sketchbooks, drawing books are a great way and a great place to doodle. You know, you'll, you'll see a lot of certainly surrealists, but any art, any everybody sort of doodles, and it, they're part of it as well because it's you're sort of accessing your subconscious in some way, and that will come out. And there's there's some great examples in here of, sort of real good observational work. Uh, you know, juxtaposed with doodling and thoughts about you know walking down the street or whatever, or just looking at something in a, in a strange way. And that's all part of building up your sort of thought process and visual knowledge of how you, how you sort of approach accessing uh, what you want to do. Uh, drawing books are also a good place if you're walking around galleries or museums, you obviously have one with you, maybe in your pocket, where you maybe want to draw from antiquity, say if you're making sculpture or work out a composition of a painting. This particular student is very much, he works definitely much uh, coming from the figure, so it's not surprising to find some drawings from Michelangelo in here, uh, juxtaposed with uh, somebody walking a dog down the street on the opposite page and a glass of wine on the next one. Or, and that's the sort of visual mix that, you know, if you approach these things in, in a, an open way, you, you, you could end up with. And ultimately, it'll all feed in. The main purpose of these things is to feed in to your practice, where, you know, wherever that is in, in painting, sculpture or printmaking or, or, or even into your more finished drawings.